What's up everyone and welcome to a video. Today I'm going to actually review something that I've been holding off on reviewing for this year. And what I'm going to be reviewing is Petra Tools Earthworm Castings. Now, the way that I'm going to review this is I'm actually going to utilize that only for my flowers. I want to see if that gives me good results on my flowers. My flowers have had no fertilizer since I planted them and we'll be reviewing it. We'll see if it actually works. If it doesn't, uh, the application rate and you'll see me utilizing it and putting it down and uh, yeah, catch you guys in the video soon. Welcome to my little lair inside my shed. <laughs> the earthworm castings I have never opened before. Let me show you. This is brand new, still sealed. Never tried this before. Uh, organic worm tea concentrate from Petra Tools. And let's see. Uh, add, whoops, that's good. All right. Add one to two teaspoons, five to 10 milliliters of tea concentrate to fresh water. Water plants in regular cycle with mix applied to roots. Um, okay. Ooh, this is super concentrated. So one gallon equals 700 plus gallons. Holy shit. So with that being said, I am actually going to utilize my sprayers back here. We'll try maybe that two teaspoon mix i don't know just some quick math here actually i'm gonna do all this live i don't uh, i'm sorry if Morning. the video is gonna turn out a little bit long for you guys so what uh how many ounces is, is equivalent to a teaspoon let's see how many ounces to a teaspoon whoa 0 0.16 ounce all right guys i can't measure it that way either uh wow all right guys we're gonna have to go you know what let's just do one ounce every two gallons does that sound fair one ounce for two gallons <laughs> Fuck it. that's what we're gonna do one ounce per two gallons be right back all right so the idea behind anything when you're going to mix chemicals um, fertilizers stimulants whatever you're going to put in liquid form the idea is to let it fill halfway of whatever you're going to mix okay in this instance i'm mixing four gallons for these two ounces okay so i'm going to fill this up to two gallons There's my two gallon mark, what, no, right here. And it's like right around here. I don't know if you can tell. It's like right around, right above the two. That's when I'm going to go ahead and add my uh, biostimulant, my fertilizer, whatever you're using as a liquid, and then agitate the product. Then fill up the rest of the way. Okay, so two ounces into four gallons. Put that in there. Okay, well, well, you know what? I was about to add more water to that and add it, but it fell. I'm not gonna touch it anymore. All right, so now I'm going to agitate. And I'm using my paint mixer. Okay, so that's agitating. Now I fill it up with the rest of the two gallons to make it four gallons for those two ounces. Now, I don't know if my calculation is right, but uh, we're going to try it there and see if there's any results with that. Guys, a quick pause in the video because I want to talk about one of my New Year's resolutions that I hope to stick with. I'm already done with all this stuff, right? So I'm putting it back already in the shed where it belongs, okay? Putting it back because what happens is I take everything out. I do everything I have to do and then i forget to put everything back and next thing you know i have a 
hundred items of supplies and tools outside of where they are supposed to be and I never put it back and three weeks later when I'm looking for something I have no idea where it is <laughs> so I've made it my resolution this year to once I'm done put it back to where it was and it's always going to be in the same spot let's see if that lasts let me know down in the comments what resolution you guys have and hope to stick with this year all right, I just want to make it clear on one thing. This guy, okay, and that guy. I am not putting any type of fertilizer on it because those recently got planted and the soil had fertilizer in it. One key thing to look at is when you guys get these flowers that are in these plastic uh, cups at the store, There's go if you see li these little colorful pebbles on them, that's fertilizer don't add any more fertilizer it already has read the bag it may say for how long it's fertilized for maybe three months six months of continuous feeding that means that's roughly an estimate of how long they have fertilizer for don't add more for these little guys they did not so that's why I'm going to try this Petra tools uh, worm concentrate tea casting all that stuff and let's see if I get results. That's done. Now I'm going to turn on front sprinklers. Now I do have the micro sprinklers set up for my flower bed only, so that gives it just enough water for uh, for the flower bed. All right, so turn it on. We're gonna keep our regular watering schedule. Nothing different because we've added fertilizer in it. It's just going to get an additional watering today so all that could go down to the roots where it should go. We'll see results hopefully in about 10 days. Uh, the main goal here is to see if there's any new flower development in the buds, if there's any new growth, um, if there's any greening. We'll just see. I just want to see if there's any type of visual results because we're not going to go into the soil and analyze what may be going on for our flower garden. Catch you guys in about 10 days. Peace. What's up everybody so here we are in day 15 i got a little bit busy on day 10 and 11 so i just decided to just give it 15 days uh to give you guys the results and the results are in i'm gonna show you guys the video you guys determine if you see a difference and then we'll discuss on what i'm seeing What do you guys think not too much of a difference right well that's my thoughts as well um, and that's because warm tea is just a very gentle fertilizer uh, I personally tried to contact Petra tools myself uh, to ask them if there's if there is any NPK value uh, associated with this warm tea uh, they never got back to me but based on a little bit of digging and research that I did a lot of warm tea concentrates out there have like a 0 0.5 value for N P and K. Now, with that being said, I do see a noticeable difference. For example, now let me explain a little bit of the difference that I'm seeing. I don't know if you could tell on camera, 
but by eye the colors on my flowers are a lot more vibrant than they used to be they, they're standing out a lot more I don't know if you can tell on camera that yellow is really popping as well as that purple blue color here and of course the orange as well all right so based on what I'm seeing no I'm not seeing an abundance amount of growth but the colors man I'm telling you they're popping folks the leaf tissues they're green the buds are, are vibrant as I said with color there's not an abundance amount of growth this is not a high nitrogen high phosphorus high potassium fertilizer all right so with that being said what are my final thoughts it's not too bad it, it's a very gentle settle fertilizer it's not going to give you an amazing crazy results if you're looking for something like that you would need something with a higher NPK value again I contacted Petro they never got back to me I do not know if this has any NPK value but if it does it's a very subtle small amount for my flower bed I don't find it too bad you already saw the concentrated version is going to give me plenty of applications throughout the year so I believe the the bottle is like 20 bucks on Amazon and I got plenty of <laughs> concentrate for the whole year I would say I got for at least two years there if I'm only going to use it for this uh, will I use it in my lawn I don't know will I use it in vegetable gardens yes uh, and flower gardens as well it's not too shabby I would say give it a try um, for 20 bucks you can't beat it all right guys with that being said that is it for my review I am not going to say yay or nay because the results are there but they're not crazy results um, so if somebody likes an organic gentle fertilizer this is for them if somebody likes an abundance amount of growth this is not for them they're gonna have to look at something else like miracle grow or something like that uh, with that being said hope this video was informative for you guys everything's linked down in the description if you're interested please leave a like and comment and if you're not subscribed subscribe down below peace